What is going on there, break stream card breaks? Sorry, I'm coming late to a video with you guys. It's been about probably a week or two offhand. We had a card show today that I was hosting in Elizabethtown, Kentucky, so it was a lot to get ready for. We were supposed to have like 23 tables, 12 dealers. Uh, one person was unfortunate not to be able to come due to an accident because of the weather. It was just really bad with wind. And I had one person uh, get a table. I don't think it showed. So we were down to like 20 tables and I think a lot of total dealers, maybe 10, something like that. I, I don't have the final number. So I just got back and I've been really unpacked. Saved this box just like I was promised. For some reason, I brought it to the show. I had to hurry up and scoop it up. There was hardly anybody with like contenders out there. I think I might have been the only person with some contenders basketball singles that were out there. So let's get this open. I've been joking with this box saying there's a Zion cracked ice into it all day. Um, if we pull one, boy, it's going to be some room for talking for the next year. All right, guys. Get us always. Thank you for always watching the videos and subscribing. Thank you to everybody who came out to support the show. Next show is going to be August 15th, same place. Um, the first two shows basically were uh, in buildings that we were not going to make permanent because the one where we're in now was just so booked up. But this will be where we're at, at the Pritchard Community Center in Elizabethtown. So make sure you guys come check it out August 15th. We're expanding some guys. are going to bring comics and antique cars. Maybe more information, of course, on to it. And, of course, the healthy pug is down by my feet. She's she's exhausted, too. I literally came home at, like, I don't know what it was, probably about 4.30. Ate some uh, dinner I picked up. Started watching a 49ers game. Fell asleep. And, um, I was like, whoa, where's the Ravens game at? Flipped it on. They were losing 14-3. I was like, whoa. How about those? Oh, where did my garbage box go over here? How about? About those Titans. Man. Titans are coming to play today. I think it's now 14 6. I think they were just going ready to go in a half. But I was like, man, I need to go downstairs, get this box up because I was talking mad about this box of the show. I wasn't letting anybody get it. And I am going to have the stuff back up in the eBay store. Give me through tomorrow, guys, for the high price stuff. So if you guys are interested, hit it up. If you guys need something out of it and you want to work a deal outside of eBay, you know how to get in touch with me always. Streamcardbreaks at gmail.com. Hit me up on Facebook, whatever it may be. We'll figure something out. Because, yes, I do price stuff higher on, on eBay. You have to. I think it's like the golden unwritten rule. Price extremely high. No pun intended there with the extreme. And then get what you want out of it. And this is probably the only box that contenders open for myself. It's up over $300 a box now for me to get. I will say that pack was really thick there. Oh, dummy card, that's why. Let that be a nice redemption. Some one of one card. The only thing, I've only been in one break, no, two breaks with contenders. Hit the Lakers in one, full of LeBron James printing plate. Uh, of course, you know, that's one of one. Um, other one, I hit a couple of autos. I think they all sold today to show because I was only getting rid of them for a couple bucks. Hopefully, everybody had a good week. So, I'm telling you, this weekend's already gone for me. Let's take a look, see what we can pull out of this thing. You guys see the couple boxes that uh, somebody else opened, or I should say one purchased off me. These names are just so hard to get to. Focus on it. There we go. Ah, no, not our first auto. Terrence Ross. not think it was going to come that quick with the first auto. Last year we had amazing luck with just a couple single boxes. Hit two Luca autos. Just was really good to us. If I find the other auto as we go, I'll stop and we'll do it at the end. I'm not going to flip all these around, guys. 
Maybe I should have. Let's make sure I didn't the audio back there. Okay. Well, that's kind of cool. A little bit of sparkles for the rookie of the year. Morant has let me see if that was numbered somewhere. I don't remember these having sparkles on. Maybe they did. I told you it's been a long, long day for me here. Oh, that's the Nike swoosh. I see. I was there looking. So I'm like, is there something missing? I forgot that's the Nike swoosh on his uh, armband there. I will take the Morant though. Any day of the week, he has been proven. Kind of go a little bit slower because I don't want to come to that auto auto very quickly here. Here is going to be our die cut, R.J. Barrett. Let me see if I can pull it up this way. Here we go. Poor RJ, man. He's just having problems up there in New York. Some games he does good in. Well, we'll just say like probably one out of every ten he does good in. The rest of it, I just don't think he's getting the support he needs. Still a believer in RJ, though. You heard it here. I am a believer in RJ Barrett. The reason why I'm going a little bit slow is because I'm trying not to hit to that other auto till the end. Should be a rookie card. We got here Sabonis playoff ticket out of one ninety nine for them Pacers. Trying to give away some free stuff at the show today too, and couldn't get anybody to win out of the out of the bucket. I didn't get a final count of people. I know a lot of people didn't grab uh, tickets out of there, but I'm guessing. Everybody was saying we probably hit about 50 strong in there. And that's without counting the kids. Just making sure. No, uh, okay, that's just that filler card. There's a Luca. Okay. What do you got here? What is this? Well, this is always good to see a lottery ticket of Zion Williamson. Always something good to grade there. Still the hype on Zion who hasn't played a game yet. I just don't get it. A lot of times I say that to our Bowman draft or Bowman cards like Wonder Franco. I just don't get it. I'm more of like the person that was buying judges dirt cheap and then he explodes. I just never good did well with people everybody's like goes out and spends crazy money on it first. They always end up going downhill for me. We got here quads. Oh, let's put a dummy card over here. We'll need that one day. We're the seventy sixers. Horford, Simmons, Harris, and Embiid. I see if I can find where that other auto might be without hitting to it. Alrighty, back at it, back at it, back at it. Jarrett Culver lottery ticket. That's for the T Wolves there. A lot of people are hyped on this guy. I remember seeing a video on his brother uh, scoring some outrageous amount of points, like 80 points in a the game. They just kept feeding him and feeding him. You guys check it out somewhere on YouTube. Pacers one right here. Should have. No, it don't. I would have go go on it, but don't. Now I'm actually flipping it just because I've got a little more time. Got here. Rookie of the Year contenders. Mikhail Alexander Walker for Pelicans.
Now our first box, two boxes. Uh, first one was not eh, I'd say. Second, we had a out of ten. Um, Kobe Love. So guys, check that video out. Maybe I'll link it down in the description or something for you. That that was a beautiful card. Very beautiful to pull. Looks like it's a printing plate. Can we do a printing plate? Uh oh. John Collins. Atlanta Hawks out of 149. Semi-final ticket. I don't know if we're calling out laser or what. That just messed with me look through the camera. Oh, I've been stacking these in the wrong pile. Filler card. There's a print plate. That could be a rookie auto, too. Wow, what a nice box. A rookie ticket of Morant, too, along with Zion. And we had that other Morant in here, too. I think with those graded, we might get the money back for the box right now. It is going to be an autographed lottery ticket. Printing plate. Okay, the lightning strike twice. Looks like it's going to be a yellow printing plate. Wow, bull, bull. Printing plate auto. Nuggets. He hasn't played, I don't believe, yet this year. There's a lot of talk about him hitting three pointers at his height. I think this guy is. I know he's out right now. I think this guy might end up being pretty good down the line. From the videos I've seen with him hitting three pointers and stuff, even if he turns out to be a halfway decent rookie. I know a lot of people don't like printing plates, but this could turn out to be very good in the long run. Definitely by far not a bad box. Those are just base there. So our two autos. Terrence Ross and a Bull Bull 101 print and plate auto. We're going to hold this for a while till he gets, comes back in for some games and stuff. I mean, I, I remember seeing the videos before the draft of him hitting threes and that people call it unreal because of his height and the way he floats them in. So we'll hold on to it. Lottery ticket Morant. John Collins out of 149. Uh, Mikhail Alexander Walker, Rookie of the Year contenders. Lottery ticket Colbert. Lottery ticket Zion. Sabonis out of 199. Barrett, die cut superstar. And then we had the Rookie of the Year, Morant. So, really, we did pretty well, in my opinion, for what I've seen and come out of these boxes. Um, I cannot complain with a one on one printing plate at all, especially when it's autoed. See how he actually comes back to the Nuggets and plays pretty well or not. All right, everybody, that's the end of me for this week. I appreciate the support, both the show and the channel. I will check you guys out next week. We got some Revolution basketball coming in. I'm trying to get it to be a full winter case, so we might hold off to the following week to break that. We do have some football coming out this week. We'll open up personally. So other than that, thank you, everybody. I will see you next weekend.